cloud of smoke behind me there. And we're good to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was MDM, halfway traction. This car here encourages you to kick the back end out. It's, it's not like a Cayman or a Porsche, it's not like a Porsche where it's precise. It always wants you to just go as hard as you can and drift. It just, it always wants you to just drift. It just encourages oversteer so much. So let's come out of here as well. Okay, right, yo, hello, welcome to the video. I'm wearing this stupid contraption on my head today. I am doing a POV video with the M2. Um, I feel like a lot of people are doing POV videos at the moment on YouTube. I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and uh, just enjoy driving around with this thing on my head. So I need a haircut. Um, so this is hiding my hair very, very nicely. I'm also very aware that I've been very quiet on the channel recently. Um, it's just been locked down, as I said in my last video, which I uploaded a month ago uh, with Sevi. Um, I'm just waiting for restrictions to lift. I've got stuff lined up, um, but it, I, I just can't get out at the moment. One, once I get that snowball rolling and I'm uploading, I want to keep that ball rolling and I want to consistently um, keep content coming every single week. So I don't want to just upload something randomly and then disappear for a couple weeks. And so that's why I've been very, very quiet. So I realize you guys, you know, you, you watch my videos, you subscribe. I have um, a sense of responsibility to provide you guys content. So I'm, I'm very aware of that. Thank you for sticking around if you're still here. Um, but once lockdown lifts, we'll, we'll get going again. All right, so we're recording. Hope you can hear me perfectly. Um, I need to fill up on petrol. I'm very, very low. You can't even see that, but don't worry. Miles per gallon on this car. I'm reaching about 25 miles to the gallon at the moment. Again, you probably can't really see, but uh, I've got 24.4 there. So a lot of people wonder if you can daily an M car, um, an M2, an M3, M4. Yes, the suspension is quite stiff. In an M2, you don't get um, adaptive suspension. Um, but you know, I, I can live with that. Um, it's not, it's really not that bad. The, the steering wheel is very easy to use, especially when it's in comfort. Um, when I jumped from my M140i to my M2, it was quite a drastic thing that the, M, the, the 140i was really, really loose. It felt like I was driving on a cloud. Um, and I thought that the M2 steering was really heavy. I've actually gotten used to it now and it's really easy to daily. Um, it, 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 I, I can live with this perfectly. In my eyes, it's like driving a 220 around. So I'm gonna put the window down. I don't know if you can hear this or if this is gonna come up on camera. But what I like to do a lot is when I'm kind of in these small villages and a very anti-social thing to do is I go Sport Plus. I put it into manual so I hold it in second gear or even first gear. It's quite close and I basically drive around at about 3,000 revs with the overrun <laughs> just enjoy those burbles it's so antisocial Neutral, foot on the brake, go into gear. No, never mind. <laughs> dear me, left a cloud of smoke behind me there. <laughs> oh dear. I struggle with trying to do launch control. I can't work it out in this car. I followed all the instructions, but it just never seems to work. In the M140, it was really easy. You put it in Sport Plus, foot on the brake, and it would just go. I can't work out launch control in this car whatsoever. So if anyone knows how to properly do it, please tell me in the comments down below. That's really bright. Got a nice dual carriageway. Let's burn them. Oh, 
there's a I don't even know if you can hear that that's the thing it's just I, I can only just about hear it um, but I don't even know if it comes out on camera anyway we're doing 20 miles an hour um, we've now hit a national speed limit so let's have some fun Woo. a little bit of traction loss there I'm obviously not gonna send myself to jail so I'm gonna stick to the speed limit and I am shifting early as well. The first negative about this car is I wanna talk about is the steering. I'm in comfort steering right now, but there's this, this dead part in the middle, this directness disappears. You can see how nothing is happening. Even if I change my uh, steering to Sport Plus, yes, it's added more weight, but this dead part is still in the middle. Um, and I've, uh, yes, I've got to physically add, you know, I've got to put more effort into turning the wheel. Um, I'm, I'm less likely to move around as much by the ground kind of affecting my wheels. But this, this part is, is in the middle is just still dead. I, 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 can't, I can't think of anywhere else to explain it, but you, you know what I mean. Um, I think this is probably one of the biggest negatives about the M2. The directness on, in the steering is pretty poor. Next one is the gearing is so long. I'm in second gear here, 50 miles an hour. Third gear, 60. And I'm already at the speed limit, I can't go any faster. And so when I'm hooning the car, I'm only really flipping between second and third gear. The gearing is too long. It's a similar problem in the new Cayman GT4. A lot of people are complaining about that. The gearing is too long and you're only really flipping between second and third gear and you don't really get that much shifting fun, especially with the paddles. Downshift to second. I'm having to short shift as well because I want to have that fun with the, with the shifting. Right, let's go back round. Oh God, that's angry. That engine is so angry. It just pulls and pulls. Keeping it high revs, second gear. <laughs> and I really want to take this car on track this year. And I really want to properly enjoy this like a toy. Downshift. Perfect twisty roads. What it's built for. And when I get an exhaust on this car, I'll be able to hear everything and I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know if you can hear the turbos spooling up. There's that whooshing sound coming from the back or the front. There you go. And onto the thing about the turbos. I don't know if it's me, if it's maybe my preference, but there's a significant amount of turbo lag with this car, even in Sport Plus. And this is what I mean with having to keep the car up in the higher rev ranges, 4,000, 5,000. That's the only way you can get that instant power coming out of a corner because there's such a turbo lag. If I put my foot down here. Now I go. Third, downshift to second. So I'll do it again. I'll put my foot down. Now, now we go. So there's a significant amount of turbo lag. Maybe it's the tune. It does bother me a little bit, but in order to remediate that, like I mentioned, just keep the car in the higher rev range. It's just, it's, it's just that naturally aspirated feel, good and bad. So I am aware that you guys are currently seeing like a, a down, you can't see the road ahead. Um, I, I have got the seat as low as I can. 
just enjoy what the dash just don't bother looking at the road right i'm recording this on my iphone because i put my camera in my boot and i can't be bothered to get it i have stopped at a service station um to just quickly get some fuel because i'm really really pushing it right now um if you haven't liked the video please do if you haven't subscribed please do i think that's a good amount of driving that kind of hopefully gives you guys an idea of what it's like for me as an M2 owner who owns this car and what kind of goes through my mind when I'm hooning it and having a little bit of fun. Um, if you are gonna pick one of these up or you're debating about it, do it, it's loads of fun. Um, I kind of picked out a lot of negatives I think, but overall it's, it's a beautiful car, it's amazing, it's dead fast, it's a great car. Buy one if you can, if you've got the opportunity. So um, that's it for me. I'll see you later in the next video. Um, we've got some cool fun stuff coming but I'm not going to uh, ruin it for now. But yeah, like it, subscribe, the usual. I'll see you later in the next one.